Hey guys and welcome back to another video and although it's not a very exciting video it is an exciting moment especially for those of you like myself that own the Minix X8H Plus and for those of you that don't follow the channel for that long uh, this is a 2014 machine uh, which has been just updated with a better firmware with Android Lollipop 5.1.1 which is great and I'm sure that for those of you that have this machine uh, now being able uh, to install Install Kodi 17.3 and other apps that we couldn't, it will be great. Now, for those of you that are wondering, hey Robert, why the hell are you talking about this? Um, in my personal personal opinion guys this 2014 machine was and it still is in my opinion back in 2014 the best machine available now and for the most part of 2015 this was the best machine across all brands to deliver the best performance and so on and so forth that we could now it is outdated once again not available for sale uh, a big thumbs up by the way for Minix uh, for delivering this uh, Date, as promised. I was one of the guys that criticized Minix at some point that they didn't update uh, the Minix X8H Plus and after that I did understand that first AM Logic has to deliver the SDK so that the brands can build the firmware for their machines on top of that. If you guys want to lose some time uh, just search the forums and you will find a lot of um, info about that. Now I would like to point out something that we are in 2017. This machine was built in 2000 2014 and still outperforms some of the machines that are built in this year 2017 don't forget <laughs> that we are guys I have a good example right over here this machine will appear on my next video 4 gigabytes of RAM the latest rock ship sock 32 gigs of flash storage and can't play YouTube smoothly how can that happen? And I've got a machine right over here. Uh, it, it looks like on purpose, but it's not. I've got a machine right over here from 2014 that was just updated to Lollipop 5.1.1. I can use Kodi 17.3 and play my movie library. I can play YouTube and a lot of other stuff. So guys, before we look at specs, we need to check out the reviews. Not only mine, but check out the reviews out there. Check out the feedback and then make our decision. And I'm really happy to say that this guy over here, the x Plus, will give their users, you over there, a few more years uh, after what it has been already released. Now, once again, I would not suggest to buy this machine today, especially because it's not available for sale, but I'm really happy to see that it works. Now, besides all this, I will, I will share as well, or I want to share with you guys um, what I did last night to update this machine. So if you want to check it out, just stay for a few more minutes and I'll see you in a few seconds. And we are back. So now that I have just expressed myself regarding this, and as you can see, I'm really, really happy to see a machine updated uh, from 2014 um, to Lollipop 5.1.1. I just want to share with you quickly what I did. So once again, a thumbs up for Minix and also the community around have been great. Yesterday I was with a party on my, uh, with my kids and I received a lot of messages stating, hey Robert, Minix just released um, a better firmware update for the x Plus as promised and you should check it out. So I did. As soon as I got home uh, at night, I did. And what I did was simple, guys. And I will show you on screen. The first step that I did was to download the firmware um, and extract it to my desktop. Then I did download the installation tool that it's available on the link that I will leave down below to the Minix forum with all the instructions and so on and so forth. Uh, I did install that tool. I did connect the OTG cable to the box and to my computer, obviously. And then I opened the installation software, pressed the reset button with the clip, and at the same time, I did turn on the machine. And then on the computer, uh, we will have to check if the connection uh, was successful, which was in my particular case the first time. And then uh, we have to press the load uh, firmware and we will have to search the firmware on my particular case one was on the desktop. Now at this moment I was getting an error. Um, I was getting some kind of error reg regarding the XML file and after a few tries what I did was to Google around and um, I happened to have the 
an oldest version of the USB burning tool. So I did download the latest one, which at this moment, if I'm not mistaken, is 2.0.8. After that, I did uh, the same procedure, install the, um, the app or the software and press that uh, power button while using the clip. It checked the, the link and then it allowed me to start the procedure of updating the firmware. Now it took roughly about five minutes or so and after that all I had to do was to connect the X8H Plus to the TV, press the power button. I did have to wait a bit more longer than I used to for this first boot, so roughly five to ten minutes and that was it. I had the um, X8H Plus sorry, working with Lollipop 5.1.1 which is once again really nice to see. Now uh, it comes with the XBMC uh, Minix version or Kodi as you want to talk, uh, uh, call it, and it works fine, but I wanted to install Kodi 17.3, which I did, as you can see on screen, and for the most part can play my movie library uh, that I've got, so no issues at all. Now, one reminder, guys, this is a beta version in terms of the firmware, so for those of you that are not comfortable with beta firmware, just wait a few more weeks, Minix will release a final uh, version, which will have bugs and so on and so forth, and they will work as usual on updates and on uh, on online updates, sorry about that. They will work on online updates so that you don't have to do uh, this manual procedure. You just have to press a button and have the update on your machine. But on the other hand, for those of you that will do the installation of the pet firmware, just leave down below in the comment section. How do you feel about it? How do you feel about the update? Uh, bugs, you should report the bugs on the Minix forum. I will leave once again the links down below so that Minix can uh, fix the, the bugs that the community will find and that's at the end we will get uh, this machine rocking in 2017 that was once again built in 2014. Guys, that being said, hopefully this video was helpful, especially for those of you that have the x 8 inch plus and um, that you can at least try uh, to, to install if you feel comfortable of course there are risks involved or uh, if you not feel comfortable that uh, you have this great news that soon there will be an update that will not require this manual procedure to your machine uh, with lollipop 5.1.1 that being said guys once again a big thumbs up and if possible big thumbs up on the video as well my name is Werther George and as always I'll see you on the next one Thank you.